Hey, French Orange, welcome back. Today we are going to be covering the third and final section of your brass warm up page. So, in previous videos, we have already covered the warm up section, the lip slurs, and now we want to cover the articulation exercise down at the bottom. Now, you might notice that this is a whole lot of G's right here on this exercise. Everything is written on the G line, and that is true. We could technically do this exercise on any note and it would be helpful for you to practice it on any note because every note is shaped differently on the inside of your mouth. But we're going to do this on G and we need to really focus on the rhythms first here and then we're going to be starting each one of these notes with the tongue with the da sound at the beginning of the note. Da. So let's go ahead and count this, make sure that we understand the rhythms. And the, um, the time signature is not here at the beginning of the line, but we can figure out very clearly because there's four quarter notes right here in this measure that we are in four, four times. So we're gonna count this with four beats in a measure. So tall on the edge of your seat, and here we go. And one, One, three. One, three, four. One, two, four. We're going to the second line. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One. So that should be easy peasy for you. We know how to count rhythms. So now let's go back. And because there's a rest after this, what happens in the rest is that's when you play. So we do these, I play, you play. So I'm going to model the first measure. And then while I am resting, you're going to play this measure and so on and so forth all the way through. And then if you want to, after we're finished with that, you can roll the tape back and you can do it where you play along with me. Don't forget to start the note with the da sound. Freeze your face. Here's your note. I play, you play. Tap, tap, I turn. Second line. How'd you do? Did you get consistent sound all the way through or did your notes crack and you get higher and lower pitches? So as we are tonguing the note, if it's the same note repeated, we need to be very careful that the air remains constant, that the lips remain steady so that we don't get cracks in the pitches. So uh, you're gonna add this now to your brass warm up. You need to be doing the entire page now every day uh, and working on those concepts. So good luck as you practice and we will see you on the next video.